Hello and happy 4th of July, happy 4th of July everybody, welcome to a 4th of July edition of the Clue That Was Sports Board, coming to you live right here, Leesburg, Virginia, Lyon County area. Once again, happy 4th of July everybody, as you can tell, I got Reverend Blue on me, custom made everybody, I'm, I'm filled up, so, happy 4th of July everybody, enjoy yourselves, do the fireworks while you're at it everybody, and, sorry buddy, that's all you can do just for now on that. Sorry, so, I'm gonna talk just about 4th of July, and I'll get you guys the fact that the, um, the finals are set. But it won't be not, it will not be just the finals matchup. I'll tell you who be he's facing though. He faces Chris Milton and the Bucks. So that's gonna be I'll tell you what that kind of match is gonna be. I'll tell you about the fact that uh, Joey Chestnut eats his 76, 76 hot dogs on the fourth of July by today, early today, to win the uh, Nathan's famous hot dog game hot, hot the men's version and the um Michelle Lesko just won the women's Nate's famous hot dog eating contest title as well. Women's title as well. So all I gotta know for that. And um I feel like Jordan Hudson's gonna be committing to SMU football. It's a twenty twenty two prospect. So other also the fact that um uh, Chris Arm Aaron's has been released. Get you guys to that. And the Canadians are one loss away. Tampa Bay Lightning can do it all again. Those for that. All right, ladies Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Hope you'll be sporting red, and blue. Show your sports spirit. So please introduce one that, everybody. So enjoy the fireworks while you still can. By later tonight, enjoy the show while it lasts. It's must see, must watch. Hope you guys enjoy. And that's everything you need to know, everybody. So keep that in mind, everybody. It's, it's, keep yourself safe out there. Be safe, everybody. And that's all they gotta do, do for that. But so enjoy while it lasts, everybody. Also, um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the fact that the final, the finals have been set. For starting this Tuesday, everybody. Now it will come down to Suns versus the Bucks. Now this is not going to be. Now this is CB3 versus Chris Middleton and the Bucks. So basically, this is not going to be just some playing fouls match. No, 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 no. David versus Goliath. Finals matchup, match made in heaven. But Chris Middleton. Was one that had thirty two points in that game last night. He led he led the Bucks to their first title appearance without the Greek freak, who was doing the bum knee. So if the so if the Greek freak hadn't had that bum knee, he and Chris Milton would lead the Bucks to a title opportunity, which they were the Bucks already have. But it was Chris Middleton, by the way, that's that led the Bucks. To the title, to the title opportunity, which they already have, but you'll see that this Tuesday. So I mean, Chris Milton, ladies and gents, he's playing like so he's racked up like thirty plus points in the game. Chris Milton, by the way, he, my goodness, he's on MVP. He's an, he's an MVP candidate, or I should say, Finals MVP candidate, if you will. But here's the thing, though. He's not gonna hold a zone against CP3 and the Suns. Because this because Chris Milton is facing a 16 year vet that's has, that has not held on to a brass ring. Never been to men, never even made events in an NBA title game. Never even been a finals MVP throughout his last 16 year career. That's CP3. The biggest name, one of the biggest names in M, one of the biggest household names in NBA history, who who didn't who did who did not politic, who didn't politic his way for a title opportunity. Who didn't, who didn't plead his way to it? He, he earned it. Simply earned it. It's as simple as that. So, my vote for starting this Tuesday would have to be... My vote for the Dan vs. Goliath Finals matchup, it's going to be CB3 the Suns. Let's be honest here. Chris Milton, you know, he, can hold his, he can't hold his own. I mean, sure, Green Freeze dealing with the bum knee, by the way, as well. Very clear he's going to be able to play for the Finals by everybody. I'm sure the Suns have been the um, the Bucks like twice actually in the in the past couple seasons, past few seasons. But I can also tell you though that the Suns have a lot more leverage. I mean, sure they have Devin Booker, they have DeAndre Ayton, they have Michael Bridges, excuse me, Cameron Payne. That's what they got. So honestly, guys, I can tell you though that it's gonna be CB3 walking out with his first NBA title title ring or or, or brass ring. 
as very unknown as if he's going to get any more title ranks or, or, or if he's going to pursue any, unless he gets one. But CB3, if he doesn't get a title, if he doesn't get that brass ring, he's going he's gonna to live to fight another day. I mean, say what you want about CB3, but he could just do it all. I mean, what he did this past week changed it all. He stops all the haters, the doubters, the critics, thinking that he wasn't going to be able to to make the cut, thinking that he wasn't going to be able to win the big ones, thinking that he wasn't going to be able to main event a title game. Well, CB3 stops everybody. That's what, he, that's what he did. And starting this Tuesday, it's not going to be somewhere in a cake wall. This is not going to be some cinema sword. It's not some plain walk in the park. No, 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 no. CB3, stay alive. All right? By any, it all means necessary. All right? This is the opportunity that you've been claiming for for yourself your 16 years. You've been chasing this for, for, for 16 years now. And you, I mean, yes, I know you're thinking back to everybody else. I know the fact that, you, you know, you were overlooked in, in the uh, playoff, playoff opportunities. And people, people, you know, you're not overlooked in the, in the playoff, in the uh, regular season games. Oh, no, no. You put on all the efforts, what you're doing. I mean, sure, you've had some injuries and the injuries and heartaches and headaches, all that elimination. But all that's aside. So, CB3, this is your time now. So, this is a CB3 era. Line two, call what you want. Ladies and gentlemen, this may very well be the end, the uh, the last time you'll ever see the CB CB3 in the NBA. Ladies and gentlemen, last resort. I mean, yes, I know CB3 is a fir first, like you can call him the first by Hall of Famer, future player, how you want to call him. But at some point in time, you know, five times I mean, yeah, sure, he's a young, he's a young legend, if you will, young All Star. Young legend all star, if you will, but father time maybe catch up to him. And honestly, I'm sure you guys, I'm sure his kiddos are watching. Sure, you know, you just close ones, uncles, aunts, relatives, and this one's, this one's out there, even you know, in laws, outlaws. But, um, on and even even the kid about James is probably gonna be watching. You'll you'll he'll, he'll have D Wade, he'll have Chris Box, you know, all the banana boat crew, Jacob State Bar, Sabrina, that's you. Weezy and Baby, and you'll even have, well, Shaq, they'll probably be watching, I mean, CB3, this is all eyes on you now, so starting this Tuesday, you guys use your opportunity, I know you can, I know you can, I know for, that, for a fact you can hold your own, I know for sure you can, I mean, sure, you put up like 42 points in that one game, when you won, when you got your first punch ticket to the, M, to the, um, your first NBA title game in over 16, in, in 16 years, so, CB3, this do or die single swim for you. Like it or not, somebody's gonna stay. He belongs. He belongs in the title. He, he belongs in the title category. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, yes, he, we all know he's, he's still a go. We all know this for a fact. We all know what he's done. And yet, this is one of those, uh, this is one amongst one of those accolades. The fact is, that Sweden's already gotten to where he's at, right? And sure, he's got down Booker. I mean, and and also he's gonna be. Well, one of these finals MVP candidates, for sure. But if he is, ladies and gentlemen, he'll say it all. So this may be the end of CB3 era for good. I mean, it's been like that from day one, even though he hasn't been the main event of the playoff game since. CB3, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do whatever it takes to do something what he should have done 16 years ago. In fact, bottom line is this. CB3 is going is to do something just that. He's gonna make it on everyone's behalf, his behalf, yeah. everyone's behalf. He can dictate the he can dictate the terms, how, when, where he wants in his career. He can probably, you know, stay where he's at with his sons, traded, and be interested in other teams, I guess, and try to get that. Cause and, or maybe just pursue other titles instead and try to be back to back NBA champ if necessary, by the way. So I can tell you though that CB3 is a little bit CB3, this is it for you. This is do or die. So CB3, you better be ready. Be ready, guys, because Greek, because you know, Griff, Griff may be coming back. I don't know if he's gonna come back for the finals, by the way, in the Denver Squad Finals matchup. So honestly, I mean, sure they got Chris Milton there, but it's needed to say that Chris Milton is trying to prevent CB3 from getting his first, his first, um, first brass ring. I mean, sure, Chris Milton, he wants the brass ring as, as well. But the only person gonna get a brass ring is CB3. This is this has been 16 years in the making, which it is for him. 16 year drops probably over, and honestly, I can say that 
that CP3 is the heart and soul of the NBA, which he is. Lex let us know forever so what happens in the finals starting this Tuesday and so and so beyond. He's going to game seven, how you want to call it. But CP3 and the Suns are going to go all the way. I'll tell you about that. So, CP3 is going to go all the way. And honestly, I can tell you, though, that CP3 is, is for finals MVP and for champ. So, that's what I'm saying. You can, I mean, sure, you can have it on your, there are fans can have it on the, sure, you can have fans on the posters, they can have it on the shirts, they can do that. So, they'll, they'll go this way, or probably just write on their, or on their, or just have, tattoo, have tattoos on it, I guess, maybe. But CB3 for champ, and CB3 for final semi ping. Keep trying that, guys. It's going to get you further and further. So, fans, what are y'all waiting for? So, fans, this will be a good time for you to make your picks. Wait, who do you have? The Suns or the Bucks? So, ladies and gentlemen, so make those picks, everybody. Finals, finals, or finals, Gradivis Goliath finals match is in two days, starting this Tuesday, everybody. So, game one this Tuesday, and that's all there is you got to know on that, everybody. So, so we're there all the way. That's all I got. Also, some other news that um, Joey Chestnut has eaten 76 hot dogs earlier today on the 4th of July for his 14th win. Earned the Nathan's men's famous hot dog eating contest title. Michelle Lesko wins the women's famous hot dog eating contest title. For sure. So, um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Congrats to both of them on that. And, that's, and happy for joining them on that. So, that's just, yes, and, and, and I, I'm not doing that. I'm just, I can say that I am not doing hot dog eating contest. I am not doing hot dog eating contest. I am not doing hot dog eating contest. I am not doing hot dog Also, some other news here that, um, Jordan Hudson is committing to SMU football. He's a 2022 prospect. He's a 2022 prospect class. So big congrats to him on that. Also, other news that um, Chris Armand is, has, has was, was released. They were fired as a Toronto FC manager, by the way. So not like good despite the recent struggles they've had. Also, there's another news here that um, <coughs> Lightning are one win away. Canadians are one win. Are screaming one loss away from being wiped out. Close to being wiped out. So, I don't know what's going on with the Canadians. They're sucking up right now. That means Canadians are looking like an absolute dumpster fire. Clearly they are. No wins. Well, seems that uh, they're going to go nowhere. Canadians aren't going to go nowhere. They're, they're done. It seems oh, that's it. They're done. So, Lightning all the way, so I got to feel that, everybody. All some others that I'm talking about Hassani and his interest, Petra got engaged. Big congrats to him on that, 4th of July. Also, some 4th of July birthdays, by the way. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July birthday to Sarah Bright of Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown, which you can still play today, which is already out for sure. Mr. Big of King of Fighters, Hayati Ian of uh, Dead or Alive 7. Becky Newton, Post Malone, Mother Situation of Jersey Shore, George Steinbrenner, Safari Samuels, Emily Bo Annalie Boyer, Terry Walsh, Isabel Fontan, Vicky Kayla, and Sway Callaway. Somebody birthday wish, for the wishes, shall be done. Please be sure you from that, everybody. That's all that you got to know on that, for sure. So that's what we need to know on that. And that's the best thing. So you see me tonight, everybody. Well, ladies and that would do right there for a full life special to close the sports board. Like, subscribe to close the sports board YouTube channel on Facebook by any and all means necessary. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Be sure to stay safe out there. And what's your favorite 4th of July moment? Is it the burger? Is it the hot dog? Watch the fireworks? So wait, let me know in the comments about that. I will definitely just about sure. And that's all everything you know on that. Also, you thought to enjoy Chestnut eating 26 hot dogs on the 4th of July earlier today. Get a fourth to win and get the next hot dog eating contest title. On that, you think, and, 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 and let me know if you think she, he should quit hot dog eating contest. Let me know about that. He, she really should. So that's all they should. You can write that, but you should. Let me know about that. Sure. You thought something like Jordan Hudson commits to SMU football. Now he's a prospect in the 2022 class, so take a rest on that. You thought like Chris. Armas being fired as a Toronto FC manager, so we talked about that, everybody. Let me know about that. Come to know just much, everybody. 
with us, with us on Hassani and Petra being gay. By the way, the 4th of July today, so it's about to look down. It's not a good way. Also, we're going to your 4th of July birthday. Shout out to Sarah Bryan at Virtual Fight for Ultimate Showdown. That's Mr. Big of the King of Fighters. I think Ian of General Life 7. Becky Newton, Post Malone, Mike the Situation, uh, Jesse Shore, George Steinbrenner, Safari Samuels, Emily, Emily, Emily Boyer, Terry Walsh, Isabel Fontan, Vicky Kaya, and Sway Callis, my brother, Sling Mike Foot, my brother, which is Del Rico, so you can that, that's all that you know. Also, don't forget that um, next week is uh, Tom McGregor versus Dustin Dan Poirier, Trilogy Bout, that's next week, guys, stay tuned on that. Be sure to catch everybody. That's all they need doing that. So that's all they be, uh, all they need doing that, buddy. So that's I'll I'll back while breaking. So that's all we're gonna do right there, buddy. I'll back while breaking news. Shout out to everybody for Mister Mind, and I'll enjoy the flowers as well. So right later on tonight. That's all these you guys gonna know. So happy Fourth of July, buddy. Please be safe out there. Take care. So enjoy yourselves. Good, good firecrackers and watch the fireworks. Take care, everybody. You guys. Good evening. Happy Fourth of July. Bye bye, everybody.